Hello YouTube, how are you guys doing? My name is my 7 here, and I'm bringing you another tutorial video on the Volts Pack. Now, what this video is all about, as you probably read in the title, this is my basic defense for ICBM. Now, I say basic because it's really not complicated, but it's also one of the best defense systems I've actually come up with, maybe minus or one or two really advanced perks. Now, the way this works is there's an EMP and a radar tower. You're just probably like, oh, another EMP. Another EMP will run this and just shocks down the missile, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's cool like that, but it's really basic. So, I mean, that, that is kind of what this is, but in a way, it's not what this is, all right? This is a very, um, very, very good <laughs> version of that, if that's any idea. So, this, this, um... This missile system is designed to take out just like mass amounts of missiles, alright? So, what I have seen typically is like you might have like one missile launcher or something like that, or defenses that will take out a single missile, right? And like if, if he sends two missiles, or Jimmy over there sends like three or four missiles at you. And you've only got power to take down like two because you've only got like two anti ballistic missile launchers set up, then I mean what's the purpose of that? Like you need to have a way that is so efficient that it will work no matter what. I mean this this system right here could take down either one missile, it could take down thirty missiles, it could take down like five missiles, I mean it could take down any number of missiles. And it's it's very, very interesting how this concept works. I'll explain it to you over here real quick. Alright, actually I'll show, I'll show you the numbers real quick first. So this radio tower, or radio, radar station, whatever, is on the alarm range of 20. So that means within 20 blocks of this thing, this is around like right here, um, this thing will be like, ooh, 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 missile, missile, I see, I see a missile. And so it'll emit a redstone signal out of here and then it will go to this alarm block which will set off an alarm and this EMP tower which will well, EMP it but this EMP tower is not set to 20 it's set to 100 and I mean that's that's quite a large radius and you might be asking yourself why, why would he do that like why waste the extra power and the startup time and all that stuff for a lot larger radius than you need if your radar tower can only detect up to 20 and the reason for that is very very cool it's a neat concept that I thought of okay so pretend this this middle center this middle block is like your base it's where your radar station is and your radar station can see like this far alright so let's say your radar station sees a missile coming in like this and it's like missile 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 I see a missile and you piece like okay I'll zap it alright now this would be a normal one just discount the blue this is kinda of like a normal EMP system and it shoots its first missile down fine. This first missile is out of the picture now. All right, I mean it's completely gone. It's zapped. It's on the floor or whatever. But if that person was any smart whatsoever, he wouldn't just send one missile. You don't do that. I mean, if you want to get past their defenses, all defenses are designed for one missile. I mean, so you send like a flurry of missiles. You send four or five or six or thirty or a hundred or something like that. Some crazy number of missiles. And so what if? on that missile attack, your defense system shoots down that first one, fine, it's on the floor, it's gone, but there's all these other missiles chasing after it right here. And they're just out of your radar station's reach, alright? But it got the first missile. But all these other missiles are coming in at this thing. And they're gonna hit. Because your defense system just ha it has to reload. And there's no way you can stop this missile, maybe that missile, maybe this missile. You might be able to get the first, two, la the last two missiles, because your system is restarted, or you manually refill the rocket tube, or whatever. But with this system, this is where we're looking at the blue now. Why I have it set to 100 is so that when this, when this um, radar station takes the first missile, it'll immediately zap all missiles behind it in a hundred meter radius. Of course you can increase that um, but it'll increase your startup time. This start, this system startup time is 10 seconds. So whenever you have like this big floor of missiles, the first one get detected by the radar signal, radar station, and it's in the let's think of the MP. MP will zap it out, fine. But if anybody is smart 
<laughs> in the ICBM. They're not just going to send one missile. I don't care how strong it is, it's not going to get past your defenses. If you know they have defenses, then you should not just send one missile. Are right, you sending flurry missiles? So, I mean, this is going to completely take out all these missiles. All these missiles are gone. All of them. You just got zapped on the sky. Out of the sky. So your, your friend's big plan just completely failed because of this system. All right. Now, as with every security system in the world, there is a there's a way past it, but you have to have intel to be able to get past it. I mean, you can't you you might be able to get past some things with a stroke of luck, but other things to really successfully get past it a lot, you need strong intel about their things. Now, this system is customizable. It's more of a concept. Now you could set this for more than 20 blocks, less than 20 blocks, you could set this for more than 100, less than 100. And if they don't know that, they can't really reliably get past it. Now the only way to get past the system that I can tell, besides it's manually planting a bomb, is if you sent a flurry of rockets that were to land right here and get zapped or whatever, and so they're gone, but then within 10 seconds you already have another missile system right here another like um missile barrage so to say right here um the and they might get past within 10 seconds you know like it would have to be timed so expertly like there would have to be like a missile strike right here for this to actually work like the first missile strike would have to be like right here and then the second one had to be like right on the edge of the border so for this to actually work it would be so either you have like an extreme stroke of luck or you have such good timing skills it's unbelievable so I mean I mean I'm gonna test this system out you can see it for yourself I've got two missiles set up here most systems can maybe take one or two but I mean, you could send another missile. I could send a ton of missiles down this line and still have them all deflected. And the reason I couldn't do that was because as close as this thing is, the third missile wasn't even getting off of the... wasn't even launching it. So um, that really presented problems because the third missile hadn't launched yet. So once it had launched, my missiles, my thing had already detected these first two and detected um, or the first one, and destroyed it. So, I mean, that's the only reason. Like, it's because of proximity. It was too, this launcher is too close. And if you let your friend build a launcher right here, I mean, you've got problems. Like, you should really see somebody about that. But um, these are two shrapnel missiles. They are. They won't harm any explosive damage. Just, just, just in case. I mean, I know they won't really go anywhere. But um, we're gonna link this little designated laser to this, these two things. So both set at the same frequency. And this thing is on. Let's just check that because I didn't make a toggle switch, so you could turn it off and on. And I'll get into why I did that in the future. And so, right in the middle, right there, and we just like chilling on our UFO light. And here they come. That first one's off. The second one's off. See the delay there? That's why I couldn't do three. And you can see now they're arcing down, and you hear that sound, and this thing stops spinning, and the missiles are gone. Like they just disappeared out of the sky. They are actually s basically stunned, I guess, is what the premise of this is. And you can go pick them up. That's what's so cool about this system. That's one of the really, really cool perks. If your friend thinks like he's completely pummeled your defenses, and he's got an antimatter rocket going your way, you can just be like, sh shoot it down and then just pick it up and then use it against him. Be like in your face. I completely just stole your missile. And he'd probably be, like, flabbergasted. Like, absolutely flabbergasted. I know I would be. I would be absolutely flabbergasted. But, um... Back to why I had this toggle switch here. This is more of a advanced kind of situation. Sorry if this video is getting a little bit long. I just really want to explain the concepts behind this thing. Alright, so say your friend, uh, Jimmy over here. He likes to send just swarms of missiles... And you don't have a really nice system or anything. You just get like a couple missiles that will take down a couple of his missiles. 
for a couple defenses. And so he swims like he sends like a huge swarm of missiles over here. And maybe you're able to take down like a few of them. And maybe like one EMP missile or something like that hits your base. And your whole base is out of power now. All your store power is gone. Alright, then he sends like an antimatter missile over here and completely wipes you out. Like you're dead now. And he's just like laughing at you over Skype and you're just like, oh, well, I guess I, I want to redo and, and everything like that. But with this system, if you know your friend and you know he's going to send a swarm of weak missiles over at you, like just a ton of um, like just basic missiles or even some maybe some medium tier stronger missiles, what you can do is you can turn the system off. This your high tech system off which will destroy the first flurry of missiles but again if he times it right he can get the red matter missile passed but if you know he's gonna send a small swarm of the other missiles designed to take out your defenses you can go like that and either you could let them hit and be able to deal with the damage or you could turn on a force field or some other types of protection that would just completely blanket you from that effect alright and then once he sends this red matter missile you could just be like boom turn on and just take it out completely and pick it up like and then be like and then just shoot it back at him again like and then he'd be like what how, how did that happen I, I was winning right there and you're like no you're not I just won because you took a his defenses because they just weren't good enough all right so that's that's pretty much that's one of the main things about ICBM is your defense if you don't have a good defense then I mean, it's not you're not gonna go get very well. I mean, I know people say some the def best defense is the good offense, but um, honestly, if you don't want to be completely swarmed by missiles all the time, you need a good system. And this system is good. It's it works marvelously well, but you need a power source. Like you can see, I have an infinite battery here. This just represents any power source in the game. And um, this thing right here at 100 blocks takes 1.3 megajoules to fire. All right. And so this thing only holds four, so you're basically taking over a fourth the power out of this box every time it fires. But again, it could take out like 30 missiles, or it could take out an in, like tons of missiles as long as they're within this radius, and you could just pick them up, and you could use resources and stuff. And you could, um, well, you could take those missiles or something like that, and then you could put them in a fulmination generator or whatever it is, and make energy from the missiles that you capture with this system. So, um, while it is fairly expensive, um, it only takes 1.3 megabytes every time that you get attacked. And if your friends probably take a while to get all those missiles stocked up, so I think I think you'll be good. 1.3 megabytes really isn't that much. But, um, yeah guys, that's my uh, tutorial. You can, I kind of marked this over here. This is the 100 blocks that this thing can fire. So you can just picture... How many mi like if you were to shoot just like a flurry of missiles? How many of them do you think would end up in that st this really huge stretch right here? All right, I mean there's like I don't like maybe there quite a, quite a few honestly. And from here, I counted in creator mode from the top of this block to here in creator mode flying which I'm pretty sure is faster than missile or as fast is about eight seconds alright and you have to also take into consideration a missile is going to be way up here it has time going down as well it's not just gonna go here and just like blow up in the air I mean I guess you can sort of do that but um that's kinda pointless so your basically what I'm trying to get at here is your system has enough time to respond I think now you could also hook up a second one of these and just rotate you know manually between them like you could just have a second here break this redstone put it right there and then you would be fresh you just over and over and over again as long as you have power so I mean there's also different sorts of um, defense systems out there I just wanted to basically show you this concept I know this is a long video showing you a concept but um I really, like, if I were to do something, and I was like, really playing hardcore, and I didn't want anybody to get into my defenses, this is what I would use. I mean, it's so practical. Anybody that knows what they're doing, which is the flurry missiles, most people's um, defenses aren't made 
to defect, to protect against the flurry missiles, and so you get wiped out. All right. So this defense system is made to take out a flurry missiles, or one missile, or any number of missiles, and it's more efficient, honestly, because if you were to do anti-ballistic missiles and you were to set them up so that you could take out as many missiles as you wanted to, first it would take up a ton of space, which this one only takes like one block. And secondly, what if there's only one missile? And you shoot like eight or nine ballistic missiles at it. That's just a waste of resources and power. I mean, I don't know, it just strikes me as odd that um, people would consider really using that when the EMP really is the best kind of choice to go. Um, but you have to make sure you put on missiles or else you'll completely fry your whole system and that would be bad. Um, so guys, thank you for watching my um, Defense Station basic tutorial. Thank you guys for watching.